<laughs> What's up YouTube? We're James Oriental Food Workshop. I'm Chin, this is my mum Chi. Hi. We do this for a living now and some of you have asked what we're gonna do today. Today we're gonna do simple chow mein. Yeah. Singapore chow mein. This is a dish that has been invented purely for the UK market. Um, there are very similar things out there, but again, influenced by the Western market, not UK market, Western market. But we'll show you how most places do it. Again, there will be slight variations. Um, yep. But we'll get on with that for you. Yeah. Get yep. starting. But we'll get starting. Yeah. Yep. So, you want to start with rice noodles. You can get loads of rice noodles. Look for mifen, we call it in Chinese. Um, vermicelli, I think, is what yeah. Western people call it, I'm not sure, I've always just called it mifen. We don't actually use mifen in our Singapore chow mein, we use egg noodles because I think they taste better. But yeah, that's where this is what 90% of most places use when they have Singapore chow mein. You have your red and green peppers, don't need too many of this. Um, got carrots, I hate putting carrots in stuff, but they do just to bulk it out because it's cheap. Onions, white onions, chicken breast, boiled. Um, egg that's been scrambled with a pinch of salt and a pinch of MSG. Frozen ready to use um, shrimp. Quarter teaspoon of sugar. Third teaspoon of MSG. A third teaspoon of salt. Now, if you can't get it, just use a curry powder, but Eastern Star curry powder is the preferred choice. If you can't get that, there are loads of different curry powders out there which will do a similar job. This is the smoothest one out there, but I, I've never seen it sold in small portions. It's always in big Yeah, large, large pots. Dark soil sauce, the gumgi, and just a little, well, quite a bit of oil actually. So we'll get on with that. And as always, it needs to be hot. Now, you need quite a bit of oil for this dish. A good two dessert spoons of oil. It's mainly because of the powder, it will absorb a little bit. So again, two or three minutes heating this to temperature. Now this is up to temperature, in goes the chicken. Remember it has to be very hot. Now the onions. So you stir that, it doesn't take that long, about 30 seconds. Now the peppers and the carrots all go in there, stir that up nicely. Some places will put baby sweet corn in, um, we're not going to do that today. Then it engages the salt. MSG. Then we're trying to brown off the MSG. Now for your egg. You want to kind of make an omelette. Salt. Gola. Mayo go. Gola means um, enough. When you let that egg cook for a bit, then you add your frozen shrimp. Now most takeaways will have the shrimp unfrozen because they can use it right there and then that day. Um, at home, I doubt very much you're going to get through a packet of shrimp, so you can use it straight from frozen and this is how. Not unless you're a dolphin. Not unless you're a dolphin. <laughs> now in go the noodles. Any tips for this? 
Pardon? Any tips? If you think a bit dry, you might need a bit of oil. It's all, all down to preference, right? Singapore chow mein normally is quite oily fish, isn't it? Yeah. Otherwise, with more oil, your curry powder is going to taste bitter. You don't want that. And not, um, it, it will clump as well. Yeah. And burn. And just went the um, this route. This route. Did anybody see it? This route. <laughs> In case you missed that. <laughs> now this will take about three or four minutes. You want to make sure that rice noodles are thoroughly cooked. And that your shrimp are cooked. It won't take long though. To get, um, someone asked me how do you get that sort of burnt flavour in a wok where you don't have much heat. The trick is just let it let it sit, let the ingredients sit for about a minute longer than a minute longer than you normally would, and it will start to catch, and that's how you get that sort of smoky heat flavour. Um, the MSG will help with the catching as well. So, right there. Yeah. Like that. Now for the curry powder, Eastern style, you only need a tablespoon. Sprinkle it over, maybe a little bit more, depending on how spicy you like it. Too much and it will go bitter. A little bit of sugar. You don't want to put the curry powder in too early because it will burn. And burnt curry powder is awful. Just a drop of this, you don't need to. It's just for a little bit of colour. Sorry, a, a drop of um, dark soil. And there we go. Ready to serve. So here we have it, we've put some fresh chilies on the top. Some places will, well not some places, nowhere will, but we would put extra dark on top just because it's lovely and it's delicious, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's eyes on this. So we're gonna try this now. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I prefer, sorry that was rude me. I prefer it with egg noodles, but this is nice. Right, there you have it, Singapore chow mein, and it's very easy to do. Um, personally, like I said before, egg noodles is far, far better with this dish. I just, I just think it's nicer. Mum? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Yeah. What? Yeah, it's anyway, thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. If you like our stuff, make sure you come back. Um, and keep uh, those suggestions coming in. Yeah. Loving doing this at the moment. We may have a bit of a break of between two weeks because mum's going back to Brunei on holiday uh, in between end of sort of March, beginning of March, no, mid-February to early March. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye-bye.